you would think that you're doing everything in the world to keep trash from getting into your uh, rain barrels, but uh, you're not. Hey guys, how you doing? All right, uh, this is my uh, rain barrel system. Uh, it doesn't sit here, it sits over there, but it is time to take it out for the maintenance. You have to make sure that you empty all the water out of this thing uh, where I live in Arkansas because it will freeze and bust. Now, these tanks, these barrels, uh, had uh, liquid laundry detergent, which was completely biodegradable. Uh, it is uh, okay because we use this to wash towels for restaurants and, and things like that, that they can use it in food processing. So the, the soap in them has been rinsed out thoroughly. And uh, this system is about three or four years old. So they've been flushed quite often. But uh, since I had it out, I wanted to put it back together and uh, kind of show you and this way you can see it a little better than I had it in behind a privacy fence area. Now, this is called the first flush system here, this big pipe. Uh, I have a video on this. I may go ahead and show you a few clips in it and uh, how this works. But first off is, is the water is going to come out of your downspout into this thing area up here in this trough. And uh, I also have a screen in that trough to keep mosquitoes out. Uh, I did have another cover that went on it to uh, catch leaves, but apparently the wind blew it off and it's gone. I can't find it. So, but anyway, uh, it's just a, a gutter uh, cover. You can buy gutter covers. And that's good. That way if a piece of leaf comes through off the roof, it hits it. It won't go down into the system. And when it dries, then the wind will just blow it off and you don't have to clean it. But I, I do clean this thing quite often and get it off there. Um, I just took and strapped this to the wall. Uh, if you'll notice, everything here, this is all two inch. And this is schedule 40. Uh, the reason why I use it is because it's a lot thicker and it will last a lot longer, especially if it's in sunlight. Now, I kept this thing on the north side of the building so it was in shade all the time, but that still doesn't mean that it's not going to, you know, receive some uh, UV problems. Now, the uh, manifold system on the front is not, but that's because it most of the time has to be replaced each year. But I can, I can cut a few corners on that and I'll, I'll show you that in a few minutes. Uh, the way this works uh, is inside this larger piece, which is a three inch, and you can tell it, it uh, you know, it tapers out here and then it tapers back down there. When the water first starts coming off the roof, you're going to have a lot of uh, debris like uh, bird poop and, and stuff like that, just dirt and dust. And that dirt and dust is going to go into this tube here first. Now there is a small tiny hole, I mean it's not even an eighth, uh, drilled in the very bottom so that the water will drain out, but I do have a way to remove the cap so that way you can clean this because it's going to catch a lot of debris. But what happens is, is down in the bottom of this pipe, it, right here, right in this area here, there is a rubber ball. And I bought it at a dollar store, it's a kid's rubber ball. And of course it floats. So when the water starts coming in, this ball will start floating up and it floats up as this tube is filling full of that very first nasty water. And when it gets to this point, the ball will stop up the tube, which causes the water to divert over here into this barrel first. Now, if you'll notice, this barrel is not hooked to the manifold system. There's a reason for that. This barrel is going to catch a lot of stuff. Even though this is good for the first flush, it, you're still going to get a lot of nasty stuff in this barrel. I know, because I have to clean it out. Now, you can't see the bottom of this barrel because it has, um, uh, you know, because you're sitting on it, but on the bottom of this barrel, I have a, what they call a toilet flange. I'll try to find a photograph and put it on the screen, but it's a toilet flange, plastic toilet flange, and I mounted it to the bottom. Because if you go to drain this barrel and get the gunk out of it, because it was, it was about that deep in the bottom of this thing, to get the gunk out of it, uh, you're not going to do it through some small hole. You're just going to stop the hole up. So I've got a hole that's this big around, and I'll show you. Oh, okay. This, this part I did not put on, because normally these barrels are setting up quite a bit higher, guys, because, you know, you don't want your spigot that close to the ground down there. So this goes into the toilet flange. And uh, you have this in your home. Most people don't know that, but this is <laughs> under the concrete floor and you don't see it. So this goes in the toilet flange and then this portion here, this cap unscrews. And that way you can dump out a lot of debris, okay? Now, there's a device on the top of these barrels and it's, they're called bungs. And this is a bung. 
Now, let me see. There we go. This is a bung, and a bung, you've probably seen them before. It's the part that screws in the barrel. That's, that's you know, what seals the barrel up. But that way, if I want to, uh, before I dump it from the bottom, from this, because it's this is this is on the bottom, right? Okay. Uh, I'll take a stick, uh, like a, a brew handle, and I'll stir it up and get it all stirred up and get the water moving and get the debris moving off the bottom. And that way, when I untwist this and dump it, it, it will all come out easily. Now, don't dump the water in this barrel on the ground. Don't do that. Set a five-gallon bucket under it and catch as much of it as you can because the water in this barrel here is some good stuff for the garden i'm telling you it's it's good it's good it's almost as good as uh compost tea and it may be about the same as compost tea because it has some really good stuff inside there uh, no large debris it's just nothing but sediment is what it is but so all right so this barrel fills then it comes up and then it fills this barrel and then when this barrel fills it fills this barrel all right all the way down now What's good about it is by using the manifold system is also it keeps the water balanced So when this barrel fills up Water is actually running into the, down that manifold and filling the barrels from the bottom at the same time It's filling it from the top Now the good thing about the manifold besides that the good thing is is that when you turn on the valve all four of these barrels drain at the same level so if you know how deep the water is like if you want to unscrew one of these bungs and stick a stick in there and pull it up and see how you know where the, how deep the water is then you know it's the same depth in all of these barrels now i'm not kidding you guys now i've had this on a shop it's a 36 by 45 it's only on one side of course but that shop has three downspouts so i'm only getting one third of the water off of one half off of one side you know half the building and in a one inch rain you would not believe these things will fill up now this here is the overflow right here because you're gonna to have to have an overflow if this thing fills up real quick i mean where's the water gonna go and it's gonna start running over there up the top so i I'm, i put this end on it you don't have to have this but i put this end on it for something like that i don't know if you can see it or not but you see those flexible downspouts they work great they don't last very long but they work great but the one that i had on here lasted probably two years and got so brittle it just fell apart because it's, it's real thin plastic but the good thing is, is you can it's kind of an accordion and you can take it and divert your water any way you want to if you're in a situation that you just want to take this thing off and put you on the elbow and, or just run it out far you can do whatever you want to do whatever you are or you could add take this off here and add more barrels and just keep making it longer at a later date i do not glue any of the stuff on the top none of this stuff is glued together uh for one reason is, is that way i can take it apart to clean them and get the barrels washed out another reason is uh, you know they may drip a little bit but most of the water's going down so it's not really going to matter if these drip a little bit while they're filling up you do not want your manifold dripping you have got to make sure you glue the manifold together because if you don't you wouldn't believe how much pressure there is from what is this uh four 55 gallon barrels 220 gallons of pressure of uh, weight uh, on that little pipe down there it'll blow them off i know I can tell you from experience, it'll blow them off. I tried to do it without gluing them because I didn't want to have to replace them every year. Because you got to take them off so you can, you know, get the water out. And there's no way to handle four barrels with, you know, this thing all glued together down here. So uh, I glue the bottom, but th that that's not a very expensive pipe down there. So and like I say, there's a way to do it that where you can kind of save some money. But uh, you know, maybe two or three years before we have to replace the whole thing. Uh, and by that time, you probably want to because that pipe will get to where it just may just fracture someday and break but this stuff up here is going to last a long time as long as you keep it out of the sun if you're in an area that you can't keep it out of the sun then cover it do something put over it to keep the sun's rays from hitting this top portion right here now let me get the camera and i'm going to move it closer so you can see what i'm talking about on this manifold okay now here when i first tried this here i tried just taking and cutting a smaller hole this this um fitting here is threaded but this pipe is still thin enough that it just really didn't hold very well so I went ahead and used uh, an epoxy uh, glue to glue these in which is fine uh, but what you can do is this instead of just you know cutting everything off and throwing this away and redoing it what you can do is you can cut right in the middle right here and then when it's tums and then you're separated, you just save this part, keep it back, and then you can just buy you a coupler and put you four couplers 
in, in here and all it's going to do is just extend the pipe out a little bit farther you can do that uh, if you wanted to you could cut it here and cut it here and put couplers here so you can keep adding couplers and you, that way you don't have to buy the whole fittings uh, every year okay also guys uh, one other thing too is is I took and uh, I put these um, numbers on it uh, like I say this top portion is not glued together now this is the back side of the rain barrel system and I do this so that way I'll know exactly which piece goes where as you can see I've got them numbered like one through four or whatever it just makes it so much easier because some of these are you know shorter than others and also I have a height thing going here so that this is running downhill you might notice that this one is quite a bit taller than this one the last time that I did videos on this I got lots and lots of questions about you know measurements and and all this stuff and I'll be honest with you I can't tell you how much I spent it's been so long I don't remember measurements are really going to depend on you uh, what I did was is two inch pipe and as you can see I've got you know I don't know what I've got to go one two three four I got five two inch T's now remember this is schedule 40 that's the thick stuff I got one two three elbows two inch elbows and then I've got these that screw into where the bungs go and then you got to watch this because one bung is, has one thread and the other bung has another type of thread and you got to buy the right one but it's a two inch adapter that the pipe just fits in and screws into that uh, so there's what one two three four five of those uh, this was something additional. Uh, I don't really remember what exactly it was used for in plumbing, but it, it's not necessary. You don't have to have that end right there. I can't remember how much pipe I bought. I did buy three inch. All right, so I've got two adapters. I got a three inch, uh, two inch to a three inch adapter. Uh, you do not want to glue at least one of these. I got that one down there glued, but you don't want to glue this one because you got to be able to take it off to get it out to be able to get the trash and everything out of it. I'll try to like I say put the view of the video of how I built the bottom portion of it I've got one that's got a pretty good angle shows me taking it apart it's laying down on top of a fence and I'll try to show you that uh, how that uh, ball system works but you pretty much can figure figure out how it works now one thing you do want to watch for and I and especially where I live I don't know about you but mosquitoes and larvae will definitely start laying in these barrels but I do have screen at the top on that, on that end of the pipe. There's screen at the bottom on this piece of pipe. And I don't have any screen on these because it's not necessary. And I did have a screen going uh, on the end of the pipe that came in here. So I thank you guys so much for watching and uh, hope to see you again real soon.